What's up guys, today we are installing the V1 exhaust from FT86 Speed Factory. Already got the car up on jack stands, so let's get started. decided to take to go ahead and take off the mid pipe first as that should probably be easier than taking the back end out first so you're gonna need a 12 millimeter millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench on the other side to take out the spring bolt and then repeat the same thing on the other side So in order to get the mid pipe completely off, you're going to have to remove it from the muffler. It's going to require a, well, two 14 millimeter wrenches. The only rubber hanger you have to deal with with the mid pipe is up here by the differential and you're just going to pry it off like the rest. You want to make sure you apply a little WD-40 to it so it doesn't rip the rubber. So by now the only thing that should be holding on the muffler is the four hangers. Um, a lot of the times people get stuck here, so just repeat the same thing. Use WD-40 and probably a pry tool or something. Pry bar works best. You can do it with a flat, flat blade screwdriver, but pry bar works best. And you don't have to be... Uh, you can be generous with the lubricant, it helps. Make sure you're pushing from the back and just keep a little bit of pressure on it. Like that. All right, so here's a comparison of the stock setup versus the uh, FT86 V1 exhaust. Um, as you can tell, there's going to be a way bigger bend right here in the pipe on the stock one compared to the relatively straight mid pipe of the new system. Also, the mufflers are gonna be different sizes. Stock one's pretty big as the new one. It's actually pretty light and smaller. Okay, so you wanna reapply this WD-40 stuff to the rubber bits because just some of it might have got off and you can get it inside the hole there now. So it's easier to put it in and out. Canola oil works too if you want to try that. Or cooking oil. <laughs> That'd be I leave the smell. Oil. So now we're putting in the new exhaust, the new muffler. Um, all you're gonna need to do is put the hangers back in the hanger locations where you apply the WD-40. You're gonna wanna reapply a W40 that one too, same as before. You try to get it up in the hole a little bit. These pieces are easier because they don't have the little nipple like the stock Subaru ones do. So you can just slide it in and out, it's a lot easier. So the nice thing about 
um, this exhaust system is that in order to connect the mid pipe to the muffler, they actually just gave you a V band clamp that has a locking nut on it. So to make it easier, all you have to do is loop it around. We did a little, we took the V-band clamp off. It comes in the package with it on. We took it off just because it's a little easy, it was a little easier to fit it around. Once you get it on, and line up the two pipes, make sure they're in the channels and like that. Then you pin that nut. Take the nut, make sure you get the nut on. And it's a self locked up so it won't come undone. And then you want, what I like to do, put it above like that so it kind of stays out of all the road crap. And you can still get to it. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter uh, socket, preferably a long socket because the bolt pick sticks through the bolt. Now you don't want to over tighten this because it can, you might break the leader end clamp. So you just want to get it down to where it's snug and where you can see that the pipes are coming flush, which I think ours are. Yeah, looks like they are. And, and they'll start to get more flush as it gets tighter. And that's about as tight as that is gonna wanna be. Okay, so this stock bolt coming off the exhaust is this short silver-ish looking one and it's got the spring on the end of it. We found that the supplied bolts, see how the supplied bolts are much longer? They also, the this, this spacer here is also much longer. There's also a couple other differences like the head of the bolt isn't as big and there's this little oh, spacer here for the spring to go up into which is not included on this. Now the issue that we ran into was the, can you see that? Yep. This is the supplied bolt, longer. With the kit. With the kit. It goes through this, it goes through the flange here fine, but when you try to stick it through the second hole stock, the spacer doesn't go all the way through. Now I know it's not supposed to, it's supposed to be a spring bolt, right. But if you put both of the long bolts, which is the other ones over there somewhere, the get the flange is sitting out here like this, not keeping the pipe connected to the, to the gasket here. Everything it, everything's just sitting out here like this. Now you can tighten that all the way up, but it hits that space room will go any further. Now we thought that you put had to put a spring in there, like stock. You put the spring through the old one which doesn't fit right, as you can tell like that. Doesn't fit. And when you stick it through there, it barely fits through, and it's a pain to get it all the way through. We were hence corrected by the supplier. They told us not to use a spring. But if you don't use a spring with these bolts, we can't find any feasible way where these bolts are gonna work. Stock bolts, however, do appear to work. Without the spring. Without the spring. That's a big one. But use the stock bolts without the spring and they will keep that pipe pressed on that flange like they're supposed to. Now, we have emailed them. We're waiting on something to find out. Maybe they sent us the wrong bolts. Maybe we're idiots. We'll find out. So, for now though, we're going to do what works and just stick stock bolts back in and tie those down. Okay, so take two on this. The first time we did this, we used just stock bolt, the stock bolt came on the car, and not the supplied bolt. See how they're longer? Supplied, new bolt, stock bolt came off the car. We used this and just a nut, no spring, because that's what we were told. There was a bit of a misunderstanding between us and customer service. So we put it together. We put this, these two bolts on the mid pipe with just this, no spring because that's the only way it would fit without with no spring. Since then, we've got it confirmed that you are supposed to use the new bolt and a spring for the mid pipe, for the flange. Now, 
what I would recommend with this is when you get your new bolts, take you're gonna want to look at the saw the how big the head is on the bolt. Notice how the stock one there's it's bigger. This one's smaller. It doesn't quite fit over the top over the spring quite like the old one did. I didn't quite like that as much because the bolt moves around a little bit. So what you do, you go to Ace Hardware, you get one of these nuts for 14 cents. Put it through there like that. It's a little big, but it's not gonna rust or anything. And now the spring is nice and flat against all of us. The top of the spring is nice and flat against the surface. So this is what you do. Not this. You use this on your new exhaust. You might need a friend to help you with this because pushing the springs all the way to where the nut catches is a bit of a chore. Uh, if you had a pair of vice grips, it would probably be easy where you could just clamp these two together. But I don't have that, so I have a friend just waiting to catch the nut. And I'm going to push on this really hard 